Give my regards to Mr. Nahat. We're ready to do business with him whenever he's ready on his end. Sounds good. Things are going really well. Nahat lent his car and chauffeur to me. You could tell that he was very happy with me. I'm telling you, you could see it. Well, that's expected. We solved a situation that's been bothering him for years. Yeah, that woman was hard to handle. It wasn't easy to persuade her to sell her share. Nigget was very persuasive, though. She signed the contract willingly. Anyways, we're doing a good job here. We're going to walk away with a big portion of this last sale. Mr. Nahat is very happy with us, and he has a right to be. He said Sadala would have taken 20 years to do the same job. So what's important is how great we did, and that our first assignment was successful. Nahat is calling. Yes, Mr. Nahat, sir. All right. Okay, I'll leave immediately. I have to go. Nahat needs me. I'll see you guys later. Kubra, are you here to see me? What happened? My dad's going to marry me off to some man. And he'll be here in a week. He wants me to marry a man I know nothing about. He's old and will take me away. Oh, Kubra, you're an adult and you know that no one can make you get married if you don't want to. What? Nigit, how can you speak like that to me? How can you say something like that to me? You aren't the same. You're not the Yigit I know. You're a different person, Yigit. You love me, don't you? You want to be with me forever. You were calling me and talking to me and missing me, and you wanted to be with me every day. So what happened since then? What happened, huh? Was it the baby that scared you off? Are you really that afraid of starting and being a part of a family? Kubra, this isn't the time to be talking about this, okay, dear? I'm trying to understand your actions, Yigit. Maybe it's because you lost your father, or maybe it's because your family went through so much that you're scared to start a family of your own. But that doesn't mean that we'll go through the same bad things. I know that if you could just see our baby's face that... Look, Kubra, talking about this is meaningless right now because I don't want to be a father. And my advice to you is to never marry someone you don't want. No one can force you to do that, okay? Mrs. Sakin? That's right. And who are you? <laughs> um, I was just wondering about something. How is it that you managed to sleep at night while your husband, who is innocent, is in prison? What are you even talking about? Did you say, I wish my husband was with me, but I don't mind taking this new house in exchange for him? If you don't leave right now, I'm going to call the police. Who bought that house for you? And the very same week that your husband went to prison? Hmm? Mrs. Sakin, no new house can compare to your husband's freedom. Please think things over. <laughs> <laughs> 